Hello. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to Disrupt Ed TV, where our job is to highlight an idea or a concept, a disruptive idea that sparks a conversation in your school that improves your outcome, improves the teaching experience, makes the world a better place. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, today's guest is uh, Dr. Tracy Severns, Mark Nanagara, who is Assistant Superintendent at Tom's River Regional Schools. Tom Berkey, uh, Chemistry Professor at Brookdale uh, Community College. Thank you. A uh, real pleasure having you on. Yeah. Dr. Michelle Diabondo yeah. of Seton Hall University. And Debbie Thank Mura, who is a Journalism Professor. Hey, Debbie. But you're not here to talk about either chemistry or journalism. One of my students said, you know, you're the only person that we're not submitting our high school papers to because <laughs> you're having us write in a different way. Mm -hmm. And I ask them these questions. I say, for example, when you were to consider the difference that you make in the learning lives of kids, mm -hmm. at the end of a year, at the end of the school, at the end of their K-12 experience, what are you really good at getting them to be really good at? What the students find that they seem to like about the project-based learning is that they are, not only is it project-based, but they're going out into the community, they have a real problem that they can see will make a difference if they mm -hmm. can solve it in mm -hmm. the community. And when they actually get to the end of the road and they found the solution, they can actually implement it and they can see that it's made a, a major change. And okay. what's fascinating is to watch students become connected with their community project to the sure. point where they start worrying more about did I get enough people to have it after United than am I getting an A in this course. Mm. That so much of what we do is not about natural talent, it's about developing and it's about trying and failing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So even though we see a final product and we think that person must be a genius, what's a genius really other than somebody who's passionate about something who's willing to fail? We have to welcome our first break now, Michelle, but we'll okay. be right back with we'll you to learn more right about back. our subject. Okay. Michelle Diabundo to talk more about Androgoshi. Yes. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. The important thing to remember is it's something you can do. This is doable. It just takes a little bit, a little, a certain amount of outside the box thinking and a change in behavior on your part to make this kind of thing happen. But it's a project you can set up pretty quickly. I feel good. You feel good about James that? James Brown, I feel good. Yeah.